that's one of the key things we try to do, expose students to as many different opportunities as, as we can. Um, and yeah, you might realize you don't like something, well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs>
a really good sort of learning experience for our students in that, you know, they can go and work with people in, in practice from a placement perspective and get their views on how they would do that. They can then consider the views of, of the literature and the research that's in that area. And they can also consider the, the teaching that we've given them to actually form their own way of, of dealing with the rehabilitation of a set injury. Because while there's protocols for different things, there's actually no one set way of of doing something and that's where the importance of the exploration comes in I think and we always say to our students you know within the teaching and stuff that this is one way of doing this but please chat to your placement supervisors chat to other people you know chat to other lecturers on the program because the way that one person might teach something might be a different way to what somebody else teaches something and that's applicable in quite a lot of, of the topic areas. I mean, there's somewhere it's not, for example, human anatomy, you know, you're either you're either right or wrong, and whoever delivers that will deliver the same factual information. But there's lots of other areas where there is no right and wrong. And I think that's where science is really good because you could read one piece of research and another piece and actually they potentially come out with conflicting yeah. views and outcomes. Yeah, and I think the sort of building upon that is kind of taking the perspective of different people's views upon mm. sort of the rehab process so you you I would see it completely different to how you would see it but then you got to consider how would the athlete or it might not even be an athlete mm. it might be an elderly lady how would they view what they're going through and try and take on board what they can teach you because yep. people can teach you a lot about their own bodies and mm -hmm. where their limits are or where they think their limits are you're sort of progressing from that, that sort of stage onwards. I think all the programs have many <laughs> many placement opportunities um, some of the the requirements are, are different amongst different programs um, some programs have compulsory placement elements and I, I think that's a little bit more where where I can talk about but I mean on on the rehab program and this has crossover to both nutrition science and coaching we've got links with Hull City Football Club Hull Kingston Rovers Rugby League Club the university has a partnership with Hull FC. They're now on campus, so we've got a lot of placement opportunities there. We send students into the military environment, so we've had placements with the RAF. We have placements with exercise rehab instructors in the army, um, places as far, like Charlie said, Stockport United. Um, basically, any opportunity that a student feels like they would like to do as, a, as an academic team, we will explore that for them. Um, and I think from that, there's been some really, really, really unique opportunities. Um, uh, you know, a, a really good, unique selling point of, of Hull is, is our new health injury and performance hub, where we're, we're essentially running a, a, working, a working clinic for members of the public, the community, staff and students around. Um, but essentially anybody can book themselves into this clinic and gain support all the way from injury rehabilitation, physiological testing. And as the the base of, of the clinic is growing, we're incorporating more and more areas from the School of Sport, Exercise and Rehab Science. So we envisage in, in the not too distant future having provision for our nutrition students to be on placement, having provision, you know, from a, a coaching element to, to bring all of that in. And I think that is a, a really, really good um, experience for for our students on top of all of the external stuff and I think sometimes and, and this is a staff perspective on a, a student feeling so you guys correct me if I'm wrong but sometimes I feel if students are allocated a placement in-house they think oh like <laughs> oh dear we've we've got to be supervised by the people who are who are teaching us all the time but I think some of the experiences that that Charlie have had it's it's really positive for them to see us working in the industry as well as teaching to be able to work in the industry and um, I think the the health injury and performance hub allows that really well across quite a vast topic area from a sport exercise and rehab perspective. I guess it's probably one of the most reward it probably is one of the most rewarding part of the job parts of the job and I think you see students mm -hmm. really blossoming on placement you know students who might start off maybe slightly shy not not terribly confident but they go into these environments they become accustomed to them they become you know, familiar with them, um, they learn various skills and they're mentored on, on placement and you can see their confidence, gr you know, gradually grow over time and it's particularly rewarding when you see students realise that this is something they really want to do. 
Um, so they're obviously hugely thankful for that opportunity. But you know, then, then they see that this is something that they may wish to do in the future and then that it has obvious relevance to what they want to do. And I think that is probably one of the most rewarding parts of the job. And I think that's happened in a number of cases in recent years where we've had students who've gone into work with professional clubs and haven't been necessarily terribly comfortable or confident initially because it can be quite an overwhelming and daunting environment. You're working around these really, really you know, experienced, maybe potentially well-known um, people, or, you know, with, with um, well-known athletes. And for a lot of students, that can be incredibly daunting, but you see them over time, they gradually become more accustomed to the environment, they become more comfortable, and they develop a lot of confidence as a result. And I think for me, that is one of the most, we want to see students grow academically, but we also want to see them develop these professional skills um, and particularly learn, you know, identify something that they really, really care about and, 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 and identify a, um, an area that they wish to go in in the future. And that for us is probably one of the most rewarding parts of the placement experience. Mm -hmm.